What's up, Epic Gamers? How the heck are you? My name is Epic Pins, and in today's Grounded Tips and Trick video, we are continuing our journey through the armor sets and the ones that fit your weapons the best. This one is for clubs. Let's get into it. All right, so best armors to use with clubs. Now, I'm, I'm just holding this spiky spring because it's one of the first clubs that you're going to come in contact with uh, when you start the game. So that's it. <laughs> Nothing special. And look, it looks kind of cool. Anyway, moving on. So there are things that you need to look for when you're looking at armor sets to use while you're using any club in the game, because no matter the club you're holding, it still takes more stamina to use. So how weapons work is they take up stamina as you attack. Now, clubs are some of the ones that take up the most amount of stamina each attack. Without wearing any armor or having any mutations on, you're usually only going to get about seven-ish, maybe sometimes eight swings in or, or attacks in before you run out of stamina. So you're going to look for ways to lessen that. And each time you put on armor, whether it's light armor or not, you're going to bring that down some. Light armor, you'll probably get about six to seven swings. Medium armor, you'll probably get about five to six swings. And heavy armor, you're lucky to get five in. So just be cautious when you're using armor. Now, don't get me wrong, heavier armor does, also, does come with its own benefits, but there are also ways to kind of balance it out. And that's what you're looking for when you're playing this character or when you're playing with a club. So now, a lot of people are going to tell you. You can go tanky, you can just be a tank that runs around in the heaviest armor with the biggest weapons and you can just be a brute. That's cool, sure. But there are other ways to play this that may be more beneficial when you're using a club. So it doesn't always have to be heavy armor, though heavy armor does help in a lot of occasions. I would focus on things like blocking. And I, and I know that's not maybe what you want to hear because you know, blocking is not always fun in this game. But I'm saying it, and I'm not saying you have to perfect block. I'm just saying you have to, I would learn to block because if you think about it, you're swinging much slower. So anything you have set up, such as critical hits, maybe some stuns or poisons or anything like that that you're using, you're not going to proc as fast because of the hits you're doing. So like if you're not doing as many hits, then you may not proc them. So as long as you can get a solid block off, you can affect them with blocks also alongside your uh, damage with your club. I would focus on stamina. So regaining some sort of stamina and focus on blocking and effects that can happen blocking. So going through a few of the sets, I'll just show you a couple. So early on, these are some of your early sets you're gonna come in contact with. Grub is one of the you know, earlier sets. Grub is really good, mainly because, so if we look at Grub, now this is fully upgraded level nine. So kind of ignore some of the numbers cause you're not gonna get this early on but, and ignore the hyper stamina because it doesn't come with hyper stamina. It comes with max stamina, which is great. So that's awesome. So you automatically get a boost amount of stamina and that's what you need when swinging this club. But if you put it on and you go and look because the only way you can see set bonuses is if you wear the entire set and then go look at it in your status or you can go look in the side effects at the bottom of the right, uh, right side of your screen. So now looking at this, if you look at the set bonus for this, it's going to be Optimize Offense. You get Optimize Offense when you put on the full set of Grub Armor. Optimize Offense is going to be, to, it's going to reduce the amount of stamina cost while attacking. Perfect, right? You're gonna reduce the amount of stamina you use each time you attack, which is great. So Grub Armor is perfect, in my opinion, for uh, using a club because this uses the most amount of stamina. Don't get me wrong. You can use Grub Armor with any other weapon as you like, and like I said, I made preference to that, that these are obviously usable with any weapon, but I think this works great alongside a club use. You can also use things that come with different effects, such as your um, your acorn armor. Its effect comes with uncrackable. Uncrackable is going to reduce um, the amount of damage it takes to stun you. So that's perfect. So you're hard to stun, basically. So you're a tough nut to crack. You're hard to stun. So as you attack and as they hit you, it's harder for you to be stunned and you also get a nice boost of damage. Once again, this is just a great armor to use, period, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, so look at the set bonuses and see what, see how they benefit you. 
Another way you can go, like I said, is the blocking round. So parrying and blocking are some great things in this game. And if you can land perfect blocks in this game, then you could have a potential to stun um, your, uh, your attacker. So Koi Armor comes with perfect block boost, which increases the time um, gap you have to land a perfect block. It also has parry stun, which is a great way to add a little bit of extra attack damage to or stun damage to your enemy while you're um, parrying them. All right, another great armor set that you're gonna be able to use is Ladybug Armor. Now I know it looks like I'm choosing all heavy armor, but heavy armor is really good when it comes to clubs just because not all heavy armor sets but a lot of them just because they offer like i said uh, benefits when blocking because i feel like blocking is going to be a pivotal it's a pivotal role in everything you use but i think it's more pivotal in clubs just because they swing a little slower so this is going to come with blocking strength now blocking strength is the amount of damage um you can block before you're stunned so you need to pay attention so here i'll show you right now so as you pull up you may already know this but as you pull up a block if you're holding a block you'll see the meter down at the bottom and when that meter fills up you've blocked the amount of damage that you can handle before you will be stunned on your next block so you need to pay attention to that granted if you're hitting perfect blocks or even if you're getting a couple every now and then that negates a lot of that it it's not as easy to fill up as it sounds just don't block Oh, just don't only block make sure you're attacking as well this will help with that because it increases the amount you get now it also gives you scarlet embrace which will occasionally heal you after hitting a nice block so if you get a good block off you get you may get a heal out of it super great armor and if you go up the sleek route i think you actually get increased healing if i'm not mistaken yes you get increased healing received depending on um how many pieces you have it'll be how much you have or how many pieces you're wearing well, depending on how much you have and then one of my favorites to use and i know it's another heavy armor set but the truth is it's really really good when it comes to using clubs so especially when you uh when you're going against the higher tier enemies um because you're gonna get a ton of defense using roly poly armor because it is one of the highest uh it's already tier three and it's going to be one of the highest um defense as you can see on the board as you see this is fully leveled up bulky and it is almost completely filled up if, actually i think it is completely filled up in defense and it gives you 15 percent increase in resistance put on the whole thing you already get block stun will apply dam stun damage to the target each time you, per you perform a block now i do want to make you aware of this you are going to get a set bonus that increases the enemy's desire to attack you so basically enemies are going to attack you more often. So you do have damage reduction. You do have a lot more damage you can take, but they're going to hit you more often. So, so to speak, I haven't fully put this to the test just to see if it happens that often, but it is something I would like you to be aware of if I tell you to use this armor alongside of clubs. I like clubs for the amount of damage they do, but they do swing slow. So you can either choose to use an armor set that helps with um, stamina, or you can choose to use an armor set that helps with blocking because you're swinging slower so maybe you need to block more to help out with um, enemies attacking you so much now once again mutations can affect that so if you would like you can use your mutations to negate stamina while using your armor to help with blocking you know hand in hand this game is very good at balancing in my opinion some people may disagree with me, but I think it does a pretty good job at balancing. So let's go over to mutations and I'll show you guys what mutations you can use and see how they can help you out. As for your mutations, and just don't worry, if you don't have a lot of these mutations, you're going to get there at some point. Um, just, just exploring the map, collecting the chips, collecting all that stuff, kill, killing bugs when you get a chance to, the, that'll start increasing. Using the weapon types you like to use. Honestly, just running around and breathing gets you some of these mutations. So. You will get them, I promise. Ones you're gonna wanna look for, and then some, real quick, some you're gonna purchase from Burgle. But, so some of the ones you wanna look for, stuff like buff lungs, cause it's gonna increase your max stamina. That's something that you're gonna wanna look for when you're using a club, because it takes so much stamina to use it. You can use other things like cardio fan, though some people aren't a fan of cardio fan. Sorry for that. <laughs> I hate myself. I hate myself so much. <laughs> um, you can use cardio fan, um, so it's supposed to increase your hyper stamina or supposed to add the hyper stamina and decrease the exhaustion recovery. So as soon as you use up all of your stamina, it decreases the, I think it's like three seconds before the, the exhaustion recovery um, starts regaining again. It will reduce that, I think, to like 1.5 seconds. Um, but don't quote me on that. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, but you can use things like that. Um, 
I always recommend, obviously, Coop to, or the critical hit chance is just, a, it's just a given for me. It's just, it's very good. And you can get that critical hit damage in there. It's, it's game over for the bug. But people used to tell you to use a Barbarian and you're gonna, it's, it sounds like you should use Barbarian because it says right inside it. Now, don't get me wrong, you used to use Barbarian. Barbarian was your go-to. Every, every, every mutation or every weapon in this game has a mutation that it's kind of like key to using and you actually gain it by using that weapon and you do gain barbarian by using clubs but um for instance like axes and stuff like that use chopper uh hammers and stuff use smash from any of this but barbarian has a defect now you can still use it because you do get increased damage when you're swinging a club and it does help reduce how much um it should still sorry they changed it recently yeah, it, it will reduce how much damage you use per swing. But when you when it activates, when you are in barbarian mode, you can't block. You can't do perfect blocks. You can't time them right. Uh, it, it takes away your perfect blocking. So if you if you don't care that you're not perfect blocking, then this is a great use for you. But if you want to be the type of person that perfect blocks to look for like the stuns and stuff like that, then be wary when using barbarian because if you if you activate a barbarian and it's it's active in that moment you won't be able to do a perfect block so keep that in mind that's also but once again still still a good one to use for this type it is it is tailored obviously for the biggest weapons possible which are your clubs all right everybody that is my little tips and trick for the clubs for all of you fans out there that love to use the wonderful mint mallets or your club of the mother demon those are amazing weapons and i love them i use the mint mallet for a long time before they started coming out with the new stuff so those are some of your favorite weapons. These are some of the armor sets you might want to look at using and how you want to use them. So keep that in mind. Hey, if you guys like this video at all, please hit that like button below. It does help with the algorithm. And if you like me at all, subscribe to the channel. I love giving grounded tips and tricks. Grounded is one of my favorite survival games, but I also play other survival games that I'm going to start posting to the channel. So I hope you guys like those too. Anyway, thank you guys so much for the recent support lately. You guys are absolutely incredible. And hey, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.